guys welcome back to the channel it is super cold outside today we're gonna do the ultimate Toyota 4Runner oil change upgrades all right this is not gonna be your ordinary oil change okay today I'm gonna be showing you why I'm gonna be upgrading the regular filter To a TRD filter and I'm also going to be switching out the plastic oil housing for a metal one stay tuned to the video I'll let you guys decide for yourselves if you think these are gonna be worthwhile upgrades let's go the main point of this video is we switched over from a regular Toyota filter regular paper filter into the TRD filter just because the TRD filter has a seal on it and this way we want all the oil to actually go through the filter and actually be filtered and the other part of this upgrade was the metal oil cap these fifth generation Toyota 4Runners come with a plastic oil cap and if you don't do your own oil changes you bring the car to the dealer they typically torque this thing on way too tight and when you're trying to get them off, there's been many cases where this plastic cap has been broken off. Do yourselves a favor and upgrade to the metal oil cap. All right, guys, first things first. Ooh, we need to get our jack. Let's find a point that we can jack it up. All right, first thing you guys want to do, get a 12 millimeter bolt, ratchet, slide under here. This is where the oil drain is kept. Want to protect your car if you want to make sure you're going to be able to easily access all these things. Put some anti seize on this. Or if I'm be lazy, do that. All right. Oil drain plug. All right. The trick I have to this is to keep pushing the oil drain up until it's completely loose. You just keep pushing it. I think mine's completely loose. Almost completely loose. Oil pan a little closer and then boom all right guys all right guys what you want to do to access the oil filter you want to take off the skin plate but before you could do that you want to take off this plastic panel right here So it looks like it's just these four clips. One, two, three, four. It almost seems like Toyota doesn't want us to do our own oil changes. Because the amount of stuff you have to take off to get to this panel, just to get to the oil filter is insane. All right guys, you want to take this plastic piece off in the front of the skid plate before you start any of this, okay? This is gonna definitely make your life a lot easier it's gonna make taking the skid plate off a lot easier filter you want to take this metal piece off and 
once this thing comes off, a squirt of oil should come out. Nothing too crazy. You see that? Just a little bit of oil. I have so much oil in my driveway. It's a little cap. It's an O-ring. You want to replace that O-ring right there. Get your new TRD filter. You saw it came with this little plug right here. So what you have to do is stick this in this guy here. And once it goes in, oil should start coming out. Looks like it's basically done draining. Let's yank this guy out of there so it stops dripping. And then Alright guys, I'm going to quickly show you what exactly, why this is the ultimate upgrade. As you see, this filter right here, <laughs> locks in place by just sitting down there, alright? But it, it has no seal, so I was reading online that this filter is only 40 to 50 percent effective all right not everything gets passed through the filter not everything goes down and into the filter you see so what we're changing is this metal cap with this metal cap and we're switching the siphon out in the center And what you want to do is pry up. You see there's a spring underneath this. You want to pry this in. There we go. A little spring in here. What we'll have to do is bend these two clips upwards so once we bend these clips upwards they should release and then when we put them back in we just put these clips back down okay i'm gonna use the spring that came with the original cap that in there bring this clip back out a little bit there we go and what you want to do now is you want to replace this o-ring Okay, it's always best to have a little oil around this thing. Okay, got some oil. Loop this O-ring up. Set this O-ring down. You wanna make sure you set the O-ring in the correct groove, guys.
All right, O-ring is in, the straw is in. All right, so now you see this TRD filter. Oops. Has a seal on the top. Has a seal on the bottom. All right, we're just gonna quickly compare this. This old filter, yeah, I'm putting the old filter in. You see, the oil is supposed to go this way, but there is no seal. Unlike this, the oil has to go through this because it's sealed. The oil has to go through this filter. Okay, let's look again. Take this, put it on top. You see, this will be sealed against the vehicle. The oil has to go through this. There's no other place this the oil can go. Alrighty, so let's put this thing back in. Alright guys, I don't want to bore you with the rest of this install. I basically put 6.6 .6 liters of oil back into the car. I put some anti-seize on the bolts for the undercarriage. And the more main point of this video is we switched over from a regular Toyota filter, regular paper filter into the TRD filter. Just because the TRD filter has a seal on it, and this way we want all the oil to actually go through the filter and actually be filtered. And the other part of this upgrade was the metal oil cap. These fifth generation Toyota 4Runners come with a plastic oil cap. And if you don't do your own oil changes, you bring the car to the dealer, they typically torque this thing on way too tight. And when you're trying to get them off, there's been many cases where this plastic cap has been broken off. Do yourselves a favor and upgrade to the metal oil cap. And hopefully this video has been helpful for you guys. Um, if you like what you see, please stay tuned, hit that like button, and don't forget to subscribe. Peace.